and just makes me happy to look at because it's a cute little tiny blush. They're just so cute and little. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got Friday favorites and foodies for you today and I would say if there was an overall theme, it would be mostly affordable makeup and also a really kind of glowy eye and then a nude lip. I was pretty much wearing nude lips or very neutral everyday sort of lips all week. So that's pretty much the makeup look that I went with in slight variations. So let's get to the favorites. So I pretty much have not put down this palette all week. This is the BH Cosmetics Supernova Palette. If you guys watch my channel, you know that I love BH Cosmetics Baked Shadows. I actually have a whole video on other baked palettes from BH Cosmetics that I own, so I'll try to remember to link that in a card for you, but I love their baked shadow formula. Now I almost always wear them with MAC Fix Plus. I feel like that's how you get that really like bright metallic sort of a look to them. Cause even if I swatch these for you, which I'm going to, I'm going to show you some shades. I don't feel like a swatch does it justice. It's like you have to get it on your eyeballs, use Mac Fix Plus, but I have some of the colors on my inner corners of my eye and they, I didn't use Mac Fix Plus and they still look really light and bright. So anyway, I have this one on my eyes today. Wore this a couple times this week. Wore this one a couple times this week. I have this on kind of like the inner half of my eyes. And then I would do a mixture of this one and this one. That's what I have mixed on the inner corners of my eyes today. Oh my goodness. So bright, so metallic and beautiful. They wear really well. They're super affordable. I think like uh, 12, 14 something something dollars. Now I do have a whole um, review video on this palette. I've just been waiting for it to come back in stock and then it got kind of pushed back with other videos and things. So I have it filmed and edited and ready for you guys. So I need to post it so you can see like more information about this palette, but just a little spoiler. I really, really like it. It's so pretty. Those swatches aren't doing it justice at all, but just know you can kind of see it on my eyes. It really is beautiful. So those are kind of the more like neutral tones from the palette. But if you like more colors, you know, they have blues, they have greens. They've got some really fun options in here. So lots of creativity to be had in this palette. I think it's so fun. I really, really like it. On my cheeks this week, first off, I was super impressed with this little blush. This is the Manicadar Beauty Paradise Blush. So I got this in my Ipsy bag this month and it's beautiful. It is, first off, so cute and just makes me happy to look at because it's a cute little tiny blush and it's just little and that's adorable. But also, it's a beautiful color. It's a really fun, like bright, glowy, corally pink and it's a nice formula to it. It's nice and kind of like buttery, pretty pigmented. I mean, it's one of those that like, packs a punch, but it blends well, wears well. It just makes this like very youthful look on the skin. It's really, really pretty. But again, I just like that it's like cute and little and perfect for travel and doesn't take up a lot of space in your collection and blush takes a long time to go through. So this really is like the ideal size. Like I would love if makeup brands, I've mentioned this before, I would love if makeup brands made little mini versions of everything. So I have another mini version of something that I think is adorable too, coming up in a second. And then what I have on my cheeks today that I have been loving all week and honestly, ever since I got it, is the Maybelline Master Blush Color and Highlight Kit. This is so pretty. I love this thing. I put up a video on Monday of a bunch of new products from Maybelline that I've been trying out, you know, reviews, swatches, all that kind of good stuff in that video. So check that out if you want more info about new products from Maybelline. But this is just making me happy. I mean, it's beautiful. These are a really nice texture where they have pigmentation, but they're buildable. So kind of like the Clinique blushes, they're just easy to work with. They don't just stick and not move. They blend really, really well. You can kind of like mix them together. Like I have this on the lower part of my cheek and then a little bit of the pink and then a little bit of the highlight. So I have three out of the four on my cheeks today. And I just think it's beautiful. It's all in one compact together, super affordable, 
really beautiful colors, nice warm tones, but some nice cool tones too. And then that nice highlight that I think is versatile for a lot of different skin tones. So it's just a really, really pretty palette. I am loving it. I mentioned it in my Maybelline video. I'm loving the L'Oreal palette too, but that one's more expensive. It's like $16.99, $17.99, and this is like $12.99. So love them both, but like the price point on this one a little bit more. We are already on to lips, y'all, and I had to roll up my sleeves because they were just driving me bananas. But isn't this cute? The little elbow patch. I love elbow patches. And then the little inner lining matches. So cute. I don't even remember where this is from. It's several years old, like probably either Target or Old Navy. I feel like almost all of my plaid long sleeve shirts are from there. So anyway, that was totally a side tangent. Back to lips. So like I mentioned, I was really into very neutral kind of everyday sort of lips this week. So this is one that I wore and really, really liked it. This is the Jordana Sweet Cream Matte Liquid Lip Color. And this is in Rose Macaron. Is it Macaron? I don't think it's Macaroon. Rose Macaron. So this is like a, I would describe it as kind of like a deeper toned, very neutral pink. So it's neutral, but it's a little bit fun too. You know what I mean? Like it's every day, but it's got a little bit of color. It's a little bit fun too. So it's a very warm toned pink. It's got a depth to it. Really, really pretty. I just, I like these sort of colors because I don't know. I feel like they just bring life to your face because they have a little bit of a depth to them, but it's not like a bright bubblegum pink or anything like that. It's not hard to pull off, I don't think. So there's the shade. As far as the formula goes on these, you know, they are a liquid lipstick. I feel like for me, they feel a little bit dry. They do the line thing a little bit, especially the darker colors. Um, so they take a little bit of working with, but what I found, they're kind of a liquidy formula. So what I found is apply a really thin layer. So the thinner you can get it, the better it seems to work. It doesn't do as much of the flaking. It doesn't feel as dry and it doesn't do the line as quickly. And also the neutral colors, they just don't show that line as much as a deeper color. So that's like, at least for me and my like natural lip color, I don't notice the line as much when I wear something more like this. So anyway, wore it this week, really liked it. And then I wore another one of the Maybelline Into Matte Nudes. This is in 530 Hot Sand. So this is a very, very nude nude. And I wore it with a lip liner. I wore it with a couple different lip liners. One is the lip liner I'm actually wearing today. This is a Maybelline Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner. This is in 110 Purely Nude. So this is new from Maybelline as well. So this is much more peachy and this is a lot um, lighter. So I'm wearing this today with something else, but I wore it with this this week. And I also wore this lipstick with another liner, the Wet n Wild, the new gel one in Bare to Comment. I think I mentioned that in last week's Friday Favorites. I still love that. That's amazing. I love those lip liners. Anyway, I'm going off on another tangent back to this lipstick. So it's a very nude, nude. So I feel like I have to wear it with a lip liner. I just don't feel comfortable in it by itself because it's just too light. Um, so I like to kind of like blend them together and do sort of an ombre lip. Now I did notice I wore this to Sephora and I was there several hours, like most of the day. And I noticed that like really not attractive white line thing happening. So I was like, oh my gosh, that is not cute. So it's one of those you might have to watch a little bit. I feel like those really light colors can tend to do that a little bit, which is like, I hate that. But I've worn it other times when it wasn't such a long day and I didn't really notice that. So I don't think that's necessarily like the norm, but if you wear it for an extended period of time, it might be likely to do that. So you might wanna do a little check throughout the day. But anyway, I love the Maybelline lipsticks. I love pretty much all of them. I love the Into Mattes. There's really a lot of fun shades in there. And if you're looking for a very nude nude, this is one of them, Hot Sand. So I mentioned that I had another cute little tiny thing that I was loving this week. And this is the other cute little tiny thing. This is the Wander Beauty Carry On Four Mini Lip and Cheek Gels. Now I got this through Octoly to try out and I love this. First off, it's adorable. These are so, cute and little and just like perfect for travel or throwing in your purse, but they're also really nice and comfortable. Now there were two shades that were the standouts for me. Let me find them. 
yeah, they were the two neutral tones. Like I mentioned, I was into the neutral tones this week. So these two are very neutral. This is Madison-ness, Madison-ness, and Pink City. And then the other two are Island Hop and Tinseltown. Let me swatch these for you. Okay, starting with the nude over here, and that's the one that I'm wearing today with that lip liner I just mentioned. That one is Madison-ness. This one right here, the very neutral tone, that one is Pink City. The pink is Island Hop. And the reddish tone over there is Tinseltown. So all really pretty colors. I just love these two. Like those are perfect, especially this one. Like this one right here requires nothing extra. And it's one that, like this one, I, I want to wear it with a lip liner because it's more on the light side. And I just like the look of it like blended with a lip liner. It's a little bit too light by itself for me. Um, but this one is like, you just throw it in your purse and you don't need anything else because it's really super neutral. And it's one of those, if you just like lightly apply it, it looks like just an easy gloss, like a super, I don't know, no makeup, makeup sort of a look, just really, really neutral. So that's why I feel like it could just live in your purse, but you can build it up. Like that's built up a little bit, so it's versatile. And then these two are a little bit more on the fun side. This one, if you just apply it lightly, it's more of just like a neutral pink but you can build it up to be a little bit brighter, more of a fun pink. So really nice formula on these. They're very creamy. Um, kind of remind me, what do they remind me of? Maybe the Neutrogena um, lip pencils. Yeah, because those are more on the kind of like hydrating feeling side, a little bit more on the creamy side. I started to say the Revlon ones, I think these are a little bit creamier than the Revlon ones, more towards the Neutrogena, but really nice, adorable. They're just so cute and little, and like that's just perfect. And I mean, like especially this one, you could use it as a blush. That would work as a blush. So just one of those easy products that can live in your purse. So love this set. All right, guys, so those are all my favorites for this week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did, and let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.